But the biggest issue, again, is that this man just did not see the red flags in the beginning and stick his foot in the ground and run the other way. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Nothing gets me going more than watching videos of the old argument, should women in relationships have male friends? And every once in a while you get one right, and every once in a while I find one that this video I'm about to share and go over with you, it's just a mess. It's from the Dr. John Deloney. I guess that's how you pronounce his name. Um, he's got a YouTube channel. It's a big channel, almost a half million subscribers. So I'm I'm punching up here. <laughs> um, he, he does a call-in show. And what I'm going to play for you are some clips from a call-in. It was a lady that calls in. And the gist of it is, is I've been in a relationship for two and a half years, but we're struggling right now because I have male friends. So listen to what she says. I'm going to cut in a couple of times. I, 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 I'm not a violent man, but when he started talking about how the man needed to fix himself, <laughs> no, that's bad. That's wrong. That's wrong. But the, the main issue that we've been having is that he, majority of my friends are guys and he just never wanted anything to do with them. Mm -hmm. And he didn't want me, he didn't trust me hanging out with them. Um, alone without him and even if i did take him with me he just uh, in a sense acted like they didn't exist mm -hmm. and didn't really associate himself with them or anything and it's something that i've been like continuously bringing up to him because i slowly detach myself from my friends because of it uh thinking you know he's just insecure because in his past you know five-year relationship his uh, ex-girlfriend left him for another guy and you know if I can just show him you know I'm not her and I'm not there to like leave him um, things will get better and so they I, I so, so here's the deal they they won't because that's not something that you can solve Monica that's not a you can't fix him on this one all right, so right off the bat, the couple of things here is that he's not been okay with her friends from the get-go, from the beginning. So right now, I'm going to take her and remove her from the equation. As a man, if you begin a relationship with a woman and you set your boundaries, whatever they are, those are your boundaries, okay? Don't let anybody tell you you're broken, you need to be fixed, etc. That's the space and the place that you're in. And it might be that you're that way your entire life. Myself, as an example, I am not fond of my significant other having male friends. I understand that there are business relationships and everything like that. But what she's talking about is hanging out with her work buddies after work and, and, and telling the boyfriend, hey, why don't you just come along? No. Now, in her defense, somewhat, a woman is going to get away with what you allow her to get away with. So if you attempt to set the boundary that I am not comfortable with you having male friends and she tells you, oh, well, too bad, so sad. Well, now this is your decision. You either are going to put up with it or not. My suggestion is if 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 you're it's early on in the relationship, I know you really like the girl. I know she's all of the things and all of the newness and all of the hormones and all of that. But if she won't, if she won't go along with your initial boundaries, that's only going to get worse. And as you hear this call goes on, you'll see what I mean. The, the, the decision you've got before you is this. You've got a guy that got hurt and that's fair, right? He got cheated on. He was with somebody for a long time. She broke his heart and now he likes you. And You've got a set of friends that are a bunch of dudes, right? Right, wrong, or indifferent. You got a, some friends that are a bunch of dudes. Have you ever dated any of these guys, by the way? No, 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 no. Are these just I work really buddies, like college buddies? Like, wh where? How do you know these dudes? Uh, mostly from work. Okay. And then I have a couple that I've met in class in in college. Okay. But, but I've never dated. I've never flirted with any of them or anything like that. So none of that for him. None of that matters. This is um, an alarm system issue for him, right? So this is one time he was sitting at his at the front of his cave, or at the back of his cave, and a tiger showed up and mauled him. 
And now, every time he walks by any sort of cat-shaped object, he's taken off running, right? Um, he's been down that road before, and until he does his own healing and his own work, um, that alarm system is going to continue to go off. That's nothing you can do. You can't, um, you can't constantly be mining your day and your life for how he's going to respond. What is it about these other guys? What is it about hanging out with other other men? What is it about them that is worth hurting the guy that you love? Oh, they just they've been my friends for like four or five years. Yeah. And it just it sucks because that's basically my social circle. Hmm. And it's and it's not that I haven't tried being friends with girls it's just all the girls that i've encountered they have boyfriends and they they feel like i'm there to like try to you know do something behind their backs with their boyfriends or something like that and it's just i just feel like i i don't feel like i have the best of luck when it comes to like trying to befriend girls because they always feel like i have like you know ulterior motive in some way shape or form Hmm. Do you approach people with a flirty energy, with a sexy energy? Is that kind of your thing? No. No? I'm literally, I'm literally just friendly. You're just I kind? Just, I, yeah, well, I just ask, you know, how's your day? Um, you know, you look kind of sad. Is everything okay at home? Um, is there anything I can do to cheer you up? That That's pretty much it. But now, did you catch that part where she says she asks them, how are things at home? Now, men, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to imagine your wife or your girlfriend. And there is another man and he is coming up to her, whether it be at work, after work, in a social situation and asking her, hey, you OK? How are things going at home? Now, in John Deloney's defense here, in the doctor's defense, he does go on to say that if any man did that to his woman, he would get physical with that man and it wouldn't be pretty. And I like that response from him. But what I don't understand is the doctor also continues to tell her, this is not your issue. This is an issue you're not going to fix him as if he is the one that's broken. No, that is his boundary. He's he has illustrated and communicated that from the very beginning. And what she is struggling with now after two and a half years, been with him for two and a half years, and she can't figure out if she wants to keep all of these guys that are her work buddies or continue on and growing the relationship. To me, the decision has already been made. And what's going to happen most likely here? Well, let's put it this way. If she decides to end the relationship and hold on to these men. One of three things is going to happen. She's either going to end up in a relationship with one of the male friends who's just been lurking and waiting because that's what we all know is going on. Number two, if she does not end up in a relationship with those men and she truly is just viewing them as quote friends, the next guy that's going to come around, she's going to write up off the top, be like, these are my guy friends and I'm not willing to get rid of them. And at which point she's most likely to end up either alone or with a weak man that's going to let her run things. And most of the time in the relationships, when it's a weak man with a strong woman who runs things, that is usually a recipe for disaster for men. My advice to you guys is whatever your boundary is, stick to it. You're not broken, okay? And I was very disappointed to hear this doctor talk about that. He's kind of talking out of both sides of his mouth because on one hand, he's talking about how she can't fix him. And on the other hand, he's talking about how, well, it's, you know, it sounds reasonable that he would want you to hang out with him and not your male friends after work. The other thing that's a clear red flag is the part where she talks about how she can't have any female friends because they're always suspicious that she's trying to steal their man. So when you put that together with how she was talking to her male friends, is everything okay at home? Is there anything that I can do to make things better? That is not how any committed woman should be speaking to another man. And I sense that the women in her life that she cannot be friends with 
sense that and say, hey, get the hell away from my man. What the hell are you talking to my man like that? To be honest, I'm not saying that she needs to be fixed, but the biggest issue, again, is that this man just did not see the red flags in the beginning and stick his foot in the ground and run the other way. And so I've been with the same woman for over 20 years. And if I'm out to dinner and she has a friend and her friend's husband pulls up next to my wife and says, hey, you look really sad. Um, how are things going? Like, everything okay? Like, is there anything I can do to help you out? I'm going to knock that dude's teeth out the back of his head. I'm probably going to go to jail. And then I'm going to have to be all weird here at work at Ramsey Solutions. I'm going to have to like go to a board meeting and explain to them why I got arrested for punching some strange guy in a restaurant, right? So here's the thing. I want to honor your heart here, right? I know that I'll trust you that you have no ulterior motives. You're a good human being. You're just kind. The world desperately needs more kind people in the world, right? The other side of that is, man, sometimes um, when everyone around us is sending us the same signal, at some point, we got to go to the mirror, right? We got to go to the mirror and say, what am I contributing to my own misery? What am I contributing to my inability to make friends here, right? And so if yeah. folks, if, if new girlfriend, new girlfriend after new girlfriend has a weird vibe, at some point, you got to get somebody that you trust, whether that's a counselor or a, a mentor or somebody from your church or somebody just in your friend circle and say, like, man, tell me the truth. Do I, do I just weird people out? Do people think I'm hitting on their boyfriends? And you might have to make some behavioral changes in your life if you want to have community, right? If you want to have friends. And that brings me back to the central question that you called about is this. You cannot fix your boyfriend. You can't fix him. He has asked you to not spend your extracurricular time, whatever time you have between work and school with a bunch of other guys. He's asked you for that time. It doesn't sound super unreasonable to me. Um, in fact, that sounds appropriate. If y'all are getting more serious, you're getting more locked in together. You're thinking about what tomorrow might look like. You're thinking about getting married to this dude. You're thinking about having kids with this guy. At some point, you're going to have to let those other like college buddy dudes, you're going to have to let those circles fade off into the mist, man. They were fun. They were exciting. And now I'm creating a world. I'm co-creating this new universe with this guy. Um, or you're gonna have to look him in the eye and say, man, you won't be a guy that makes me give up my friends. I don't want that. I want to keep hanging out with my buddies after work and you're gonna have to wish him well. The point is, is that if at this stage of the relationship, if she is still that attached to the attention that she's getting from these male friends, she's probably not going to make that good of a wife. Okay. Because if she's not willing to see the picture for what it is and understand situation that it doesn't matter in my mind, it doesn't matter that he is saying, well, I got cheated on. So this is, this is the reason why, because I don't believe that for a second. I believe that the man was probably uncomfortable with his female partner having male friends the entire time. She did not listen to him the way that this new woman is not listening to him. And then she cheated and he's worried this woman's going to do the same thing. Now, where I will agree with the doctor is in the sense that it's not that the fix is that he should be okay with his woman um, having male friends. The fix is that he needs to accept that he does not want to be in a relationship where his female partner has male friends, set that boundary and stick to that boundary. That's the mistake that this man made. He's now two and a half years in. He's been holding in all of that. Every time she's after work, going and hanging out with these guys and he's getting irritated and aggravated and it bothers him. That is a lot of pent up pain and frustration that that man has felt. And it is because he did not stick to his boundary. So the point here is not so much that I'm ranking on the doctor. I think he did a bad job. I don't agree with his assessment that um, the man needs to be fixed. What the man needs is just to stick to his boundaries. That's the biggest thing that I took away from this video.